Dear ESCO friends and colleagues, it's now almost four years ago that we have published the ESTRO, ESP and ESCO guidelines for the management of endometrial cancer. Since that time, a tremendous amount of new evidence in this disease has arisen from clinical trials, from translational data, from molecular data, and in addition, the FICO staging system for endometrial carcinoma has changed. So the three societies together decided that it is time for an update of these guidelines, and we are very uh, happy to today present for the first time at the ESCO Congress in Rome our new guidelines. Well, the guidelines meant really a revolution. So until a few years ago, endometrial carcinoma was diagnosed mainly by H&E, by crossing of the surgical specimens and by maybe some diagnostic immunos. But now we do the uh, adjunct, uh, the additional uh, uh, investigations for having a typing, a more precise typing of the tumors, which means both information for prognosis and also for uh, prediction of, uh, of adjuvant uh, therapy. So, uh, Everything is new. It's really a revolution. Well, a lot has indeed changed in the last four years. And um, basically, the molecular information that is added on top of the already existing uh, knowledge has greatly uh, transformed our understanding of prognosis and risk uh, stratification. Uh, so over the last years, we've seen more and more data also from trials uh, pointing out um, that we need to adjust our treatment recommendations for adjuvant management based on this new information. So integrating new molecular information into treatment decision making. And uh, that is, um, uh, yeah, that is, I think, one of the biggest highlights also of this, um, of this update. Uh, we try to be very practically orientated in the guidelines. We really give that guidance for clinical practice. We included algorithms for every situation in the disease that will be very helpful in your daily routine. And we will sum up the most important aspects of our new guidelines in the webinars. Yeah, so there are four in total, right? Uh, one on um, the uh, pathology molecular markers, the risk stratification, um, one on surgical aspects, one on adjuvant uh, management, and one on management of recurrent and metastatic disease. Yes, everybody should participate and consider doing it on the next day redoing uh, the, um, the procedure, the processing of the specimen, uh, starting with the biopsies, doing the molecular classification upfront before going to a treatment decision. We very much look forward seeing you at our webinars and discussing together with you the new relevant aspects for clinical practice and for the management of endometrial cancer patients.